It's Saturday, and I have to film an unboxing video, and uh, no one's here at the office. Got this building all to myself. Hello? Uh, I got a, I got a new YouTube office. It's tiny, super tiny, but uh, it's mine. Hi, so I've got my camera set up because like I said, I'm gonna do an unboxing video, A7S III. We got the switch pod. I have this little multi-friction arm by Small Rig, and the mic that I'm using is the Rode NTG mic. And I, and I need to set up a top-down shot because we are doing an unboxing. I can't tell you what it is because NDA stuff, but because this office is so small, I, um, I haven't really set up like a permanent top-down setup just yet. And so we're just gonna, we're gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> Totally works. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, my top-down setup. Nice. All right, top-down camera ready to go, a main camera ready to go, lighting ready to go, and uh, time to film this unboxing. Back in a sec. And we're done with the unboxing. That was actually a really cool product to unbox. Can't wait to show that video. Top-down camera did a great job. Main camera did an excellent job. I think I did an okay job, but the two cameras did a kick-butt job. Love it. All right, filming is done. I'm out of here. Gonna eat my snacks and head home. So that was a little mini vlog shot with the iPhone 14 Pro. And I've had this phone for about, uh, I don't know, two weeks now? Yeah, about two weeks. So this video will be, I guess, I don't know, an iPhone 14 review video two weeks later. <laughs> also, this is like my last week to decide if I want to keep the 14 Pro or stick with my iPhone 13 Pro. And so yeah, stick around till the end of the video and uh, you'll find out my decision. This video is sponsored by my good friends from LoomCube and in my hands is the LoomCube RGB Panel Go. This has been like my favorite travel light to take with me. It's slim, compact, has a nice soft silicone diffuser for soft lighting and you can control all the parameters of the light with the screen. Check this out, this is really cool. So right now I'm set it to uh, 3200 Kelvin, that's a uh, tungsten. But we're gonna change it to to a daylight. So I'm just gonna go to the menu and change the temperature from 3200 Kelvin to daylight. Ooh, cool. But since this is also an RGB light, you can also have colors. All right, we're gonna go down to the color temperature and we're just gonna just go up and cycle through all the colors. Look at that. We got green, we got uh, teal, blue, a purple, this light is just so cool. And what's really awesome is that there's a battery level indicator on the back and it's telling me right now that I have about five hours, more than five hours of battery life. And so yeah, very cool light to have for all types of content creators. And a really cool accessory to have with the LoomCube RGB Panel Go is this light stand. Check this out. It's this really cool light stand that you can put anywhere, whether it's in your office or if you wanna pack it in your suitcase and travel, but it's very easy to operate. Just open up the legs like so, attach the light on the quarter 20 thread on top, there you go. And now you have a very portable light stand. If you want to check out the LoomCube RGB panel go or even the light stand, then definitely check out the link down in the description below. Thank you LoomCube for sponsoring this video, but now back to the video. I said video twice. Right, so two weeks later, uh, playing with the iPhone 14 Pro, let's just start with the basics, battery life. Battery life is amazing. I actually took this phone with me on a trip to San Diego, and I really wanted to use the phone in a very intense way while traveling. So like from four o'clock in the morning in Texas to one o'clock in the afternoon in California, battery life went from 100% to 25% in eight hours. Was that eight hours? So, something like that. And I'll be honest, I kind of wish the battery lasted longer than just that, but all things considering, after using this phone in a very intense way, I thought that was still pretty impressive. But for everyday normal use with the iPhone 14 Pro, it lasted all day. Do I think it's better than the iPhone 13 Pro? Uh, yeah, maybe just a, a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna do like a full on comparison of the batteries, just too lazy to do that comparison. But honestly, if you have the 13 Pro and you're thinking about upgrading to the 14 Pro, it's it's more or less the same. I mean, both the batteries on these phones are, are very impressive. And so yeah, I, I don't think you can go wrong either or. Oh, a uh, quick note about the battery. Uh, if you don't want your battery to drain, you have to turn off the always on display because when I had that turned on, it drained my battery really fast. Okay, back to the other side. Now, one thing with the iPhone 14 Pro that I did find much better than the 13 Pro is the screen brightness. And that's so helpful for me if I'm filming videos, 
outdoors and it's super bright. Like with the 13 Pro, it does dim, which is a huge bummer because if, I, if I'm filming something outside, I, I wanna be able to see what I'm filming, you know? But with the 14 Pro, it stays bright. Very impressed with that, very happy with that. And so as far as screen brightness goes, the 14 Pro definitely wins. And of course you have the new Dynamic Island on the iPhone 14 Pro. And it was cute at first, but honestly, it, it's more distracting than anything else. In fact, I kind of like the notch a little bit better because it is further away from the center of the screen. Like just scrolling through my home screen and going through certain apps, like just, I just see that, that little black chunk over here and it's just, it's very distracting. And so yeah, Dynamic Island is cool with the animations, but I, I don't really care. I just, I want it gone. I don't, I don't want to see anything there. Like the notch isn't perfect, but I think I prefer the notch than the Dynamic Island, honestly. I mean, the notch is kind of ugly too. I mean, they're, they're both they're both very distracting. But I think for me, the biggest reasons why I would want to keep the iPhone 14 Pro are the cameras. The cameras are very impressive. I mean, I've been enjoying shooting 4K cinematic mode. That's been really nice. And action mode is really cool too. Although I did find if you're using action mode indoors, you do see a lot of noise, but when you're filming outdoors, you don't see it that often. But at the same time, shooting video and taking photos with the 13 Pro has been really good too. I mean, I shot these clips with iPhone 13 Pro, very impressive for a phone. And I shot these clips on iPhone 14 Pro, very impressive. But in a lot of the shots, they still look like iPhone video. I mean, both these phones are still not going to give you that cinematic quality that you would get from more expensive full frame cameras like the Sony a7S III. It's a phone, but me as the filmmaker, as a content creator, I'm still able to pull out some pretty usable content with either one of these phones. The iPhone 14 Pro does do it better for sure. I mean, all the physical and internal attributes of the iPhone 14 Pro does make it a better video camera or photography camera than the 13 Pro. But honestly, if you have the 13 Pro and you've been totally happy filming video and taking photos, then yeah, I say it's okay to hold on to your phone. I would even say go to an Apple store and play with the 14 Pro and do your own comparison to see if it's worth upgrading to. I mean, for all of us tech camera reviewers, like we can only give our opinions and we can only say so much, but really you have to see it for yourself in order for you to make an informed decision. And honestly, if the iPhone 14 Pro was not announced this year, I would be totally content with the 13 Pro. But since playing with the 14 Pro, I've been very impressed with the screen brightness. Uh, I do love the new camera cameras, very impressive. It's still not going to replace all my Sony cameras at all. I mean, most of my content will still continue to be shot with my Sony cameras. It's just nice to have a phone that can shoot a little bit better video. And so what am I going to decide? Am I going to stick with my iPhone 13 Pro or throw it in the trash and keep my new iPhone 14 Pro? I am going to keep the iPhone 14 Pro. I love the battery life. I love the screen brightness, if anything else. Not a big fan of Dynamic Island anymore. It's getting kind of distracting. And I do appreciate the better cameras, like that 1X camera and 2X camera. Ooh, very, very nice. But if I had to return the iPhone 14 Pro again, I would be totally content with the 13 Pro. And so I don't know if that kind of answered a question. I just wanted to give you my honest opinions. Like I'd be totally content with the 13 Pro, but I'm still going to choose the iPhone 14 Pro because yeah, I like that screen brightness. That's that's kind of nice. Is that the only reason why I'm keeping the phone? Just because it's brighter? I don't know. But I think the main point that I want to drive in in this video is that it doesn't really matter what phone you have or what camera you have. It all depends on, on you. I'm not saying that gear doesn't matter because I know that's a thing. But I could be shooting great looking content with either of these phones and I can also shoot some pretty crappy content with either one of these phones. Same thing with expensive mirrorless cameras. Like I could shoot great content with the a7S III and there have been times where I've shot kind of crappy looking content with the a7S III and it all goes back to the person behind the camera and what's really really cool is that there are so many cameras at our disposal right now. We can choose a phone to create content if we want to. We can choose mirrorless cameras if we want to. There are so many options for all of us. It just takes away the excuse of creating content. And so yeah, just just choose a camera, choose a phone, and just start creating content. <laughs> I still don't know if that answered anything. Well, if you have any specific questions about the 14 Pro or 13 Pro or I don't know, life in general, then let me know in the comments below. But thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Was that video even clear? I don't, I don't know.